Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It is Taste Being ATL. I first want to say I miss you guys so much. it has been so much going on with me launching my website, still working. So I'm going to come on here real quick and make some nachos, but I'm going to make them out of lentils. I've never done that before. So we are going to see how it try, not tries out. We're going to see how it turns out. Um, I really miss you guys and I wish I could be on here more and I will soon because I have a lot to tell y'all but for now let's just get into these nachos yeah let's do this I will be using a instant pot for my lentils this is about a cup and a half of lentils and I'm just going to use about a cup and a half of water also I'm going to use a half a cup of salsa I'm going to use a little bit of this broth, okay? And I'm going to top it off with some taco seasoning. And I'm using just my hand to record this, so I'll be right back because I can't, I can't do everything at, you know, one time or whatever. So I got everything in there. I use one cup and one fourth of water. I use about a half a cup of salsa. I put one teaspoon of the broth. And now I'm about to cover it and go ahead and cook this for about, let's say, 14 minutes. I'm going to put it on, yeah, 14 minutes, 14 to 15 minutes. Okay, so honestly, I had to go get the book because, um, and I found red lentils. That's the closest thing that I see. So I think I'm supposed to do pressure cook. And then, oh no, see, that's too much time. Let's start with 14 minutes, like I said. And I think uh, it just start by itself. Do I hit start? Ooh, child, I just got this thing. So, oh, look at that. Look at God. Thank you. Maybe I should have been a little more prepared for this video because these were supposed to go in the Instapot with the lentils, but it's all good. I'm going to cut me up half of an onion, half of this bell pepper, and saute it on the stove. I might add some mushrooms. Why not? I like mushrooms. So, yeah, y'all, put, put this in them with the lentils, okay? So this is pretty good, but I am going to add a little salt and pepper just to give it that extra flavor. So it is time for me to show y'all my secret cheese, okay? So butter, milk, cheese, that's all you need. And I was about to start this on the stove and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to mess up any dishes, so I'm going to put it in a microwave. If you are against microwaves, okay, I totally understand. So I'm not going to need a lot of cheese. So. I just use about a fourth of the bag. As you can see, the butter is already in there. And then I'm just going to use some oatmeal. Now, you're going to know, I mean, if it's too watery, of course, put you a little bit more um, cheese. If it's too thick, add a little bit more milk. But I would say stay light on the butter um, because, you know, butter is just basically fat and you don't want to be eating fat. So I'm putting this in the microwave for about... I don't know, 30 seconds or more. And um, yeah, I'm gonna just mix it up, show y'all how it comes out and this is how it turns out. Of course, you see those little chunks in there. You could add a little bit more milk if you wanna get it out. And to make it a little cheesier, you can add some nutritional yeast. So it is time to put this all together. All right, so lentils. They didn't turn, I like mine kind of drier than this to get like a meaty taste, but I just got a um, spoon with some holes at the bottom and let the excess drain off. I'm using some regular chips, nothing fancy. So this is like our meat, kind of. Put a little bit more, okay. Then we have our veggies mushrooms, onions, bell peppers. I'm gonna put a little lettuce on here. Okay. 
birthday. I'm going to put me some cheese. Look at that cheese. Y'all, I'm telling you. Don't be doing all that work for no cheese. Look at that. Beautiful, honey. I like my cheese, so. I got some store-bought guacamole. Um, I don't know. I just picked this up in Kroger. I'm going to scoop a little bit of that on there. And y'all, I'm using one hand. Oh, who ain't going to pick that up and put it on top? Hmm. Okay. And we're going to add some jalapeno. Y'all, we looking good, boo. We are looking good. Mmm. Mmm. All right, now let's taste it, okay? We got to taste it. Yes, I'm outside. Um, Because, you know, outside is where you get the best pictures. So, yeah. We outside with it. So, let's try it. Pretty good to me. And I love nachos, y'all. Like, mm. I ain't gonna say the lentils replace replace the full beef taste, but you still get your protein. Really good. I like it. I would have over seasoned the lentils a little more. But the mushrooms and pepper give it a really good balance because I did over season them. This is really good. This might be my dinner. I was gonna make, see I was testing this out to see if I could use lentils to make shepherd pie. And this just proved that I can. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I love y'all. I miss y'all. Please check out www.chasebeganatl. Merchandise. We got sea moss. My yum yum sauce is out, y'all. My yum yum sauce is out. Go check it out. Thank y'all so much for watching. And remember, you don't have to be vegan to taste vegan. Okay, somebody keep on blowing their horns. I'm going to stop. <laughs>